And now for the finale of these type of examples, we're going to show you where both object and source are moving and they're moving towards each other. If the source is putting out a sound at 500 hertz and the velocity of sound in air is 340 meters per second, what will the observer hear? Well, let's find out. Again, we use the same equation. The frequency observed is equal to the frequency of the source times that ratio. We have the velocity of sound in air plus or minus the velocity of the uh, uh, observer divided by the velocity of sound in air plus or minus the velocity of the source. All right. We'll determine what the plus or minus are in just a moment. Let's now plug in all the numbers. And again, it doesn't matter which direction everybody's moving. We just plug in the numbers. So we have frequency observed is equal to the 500 hertz times this ratio. So we get 340, 340, and the velocity observer is 10 meters per second. The velocity of the source is 30 meters per second. All right, now for the signs. The observer is moving towards the source. That would appear as if the waves come faster because he's meeting them head on as the waves are moving this way. He's moving towards them. It appears that then the wavelengths get shorter. Therefore, the frequency appears higher. If is going to hear a higher frequency because of his motion. We need a plus there to make the numerator bigger to make that frequency observed bigger. So a plus will work there. Okay, what about the source? The source is moving to the right, which means that, again, as the waves are being put out, the waves will appear to be closer together because when the ne next wave is produced, it'll be catching up to the one that was just sent out. It appears that the wavelengths are shorter. Shorter wavelengths means higher frequency. So what sign do we need here to make this a bigger number? Well, a smaller denominator causes a bigger frequency observed. That means we need a minus there. So we subtract, making the denominator smaller. So those are the correct signs. So that means that the frequency, frequency observed is 500 hertz times 350 in the numerator divided by 310 in the denominator. And let's find out what that is. 500 times 350 divided by 310 equals, and that would be 565 hertz. That would be the observed frequency in this particular case. All right. Hopefully now you have some good examples here for you to be able to work these out. Now, I'm going to make a few more videos that show you some strange combinations. We're going to involve some wind. We're going to involve the waves bounce off another source, like maybe a wall, and maybe bouncing off a moving wall. And so we'll get some additional examples of how you solve maybe some slightly more difficult problems. So if you're interested, stay tuned and look at the next videos.